Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon and the Pleasant City of Flets. Yeah, in the last episode we made it here after finishing Disc 1. It was awesome. I did not expect to get to Disc 1 ending in the last episode. Well, I guess I should have because I, I was anticipating the end of Disc 1 for a while there. And it seemed like, you know, getting to Emperor Dole and whooping his ass was a good place to do that. And well, lo and behold, story-wise, they fucking did it perfectly. Anyways, we're here in the town of Fletz, which is apparently all in a whole nother continent that we haven't even been on before. We just kind of got thrust here immediately once we were done with the last disc. Anyways, we're here. I guess we gotta go talk to, like, the two princesses or something. I don't... I'm not even sure what we're doing here. We're looking for Lloyd, I guess. That's, like, the main thing. Find Lloyd, kick his ass, because he's doing something that he shouldn't be doing. It's bad for everyone. Anyway, let's talk to this beezy. In Tiberoa, gems are used as amulets. These are not for mere decoration. Okay, anything else? Gems look like stars, don't they? People who want to always feel a star close to them buy gems in this country. Well, fuck you too. How about that? I don't know why I'm being a douche. I don't know. It's probably because I just recorded Jack 2 and I was pissed. <laughs> anyway, we could buy some ruby rings, which is mm -hmm, when damaged by magic SP is accumulated. Oh, okay, that sounds sweet. When damaged by magic MP is accumulated. Okay, same thing, but with MP. When physically damaged, SP. Okay, that sounds pretty good. And same with this one. These look pretty useful. Because that means when you get hit, your SP gets built up. That sounds pretty sweet. I don't know if I would want to sacrifice other abilities via my... Um... Oh, yeah! Um, I don't know if I would want to sacrifice my other accessories for... Uh for those because while those would be pretty sweet my other accessories give me other things besides that so I don't know I haven't I haven't come to rely on SP super hard yet so if I feel like I, I need those kind of things I will come back here and buy those but for now thousand gold per is a little steep and uh, out of my price range so I'm okay with skipping on those for now Anyways, I did not know how much more of this town there was going to be, but there seems to be quite a bit. Ooh, is this a day spa or some shit? My grandpa used to say if you see a girl in trouble, help her even if it means risking your life. I mean, only if it's going to get you the prize that we all crave. He protected me and was done in, done in by a bandit. Oh, this is like the hospital or some shit. Okay, so he's got a nurse. A sexy nurse. Oh, oh! Okay, this pops out up here. That's interesting. Why would we even want to come up here, though? Just to see the sick view? Because there's nothing to interact with. I'm mashing the X button. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just a whole ball of nothing going on up there. Ah, ear, ear, ear. My ear is, like, freaking out right now. It, want, it wants me to itch it really bad. It's really bad. I'm like, nope. Not doing it. Not doing it, ear. Don't even make me. You make me do that. You interrupt the episode. For like even just the slightest second also oh this is this healing place the one where you talk to the dude and he's like yo what you need to be healed for son and you're like yo i'm here for that heals i gotta get that curse off me i need you to get that curse off me and they're like bitch don't put that don't you put that on me ricky bobby don't you put that on me and then and then michael clark duncan and then he's dead and then this is a sad sad story all over again yeek what Who's yeeking? Stop yeeking. What? What happened? Is there something going on over there? Who's yeeking? Stop yeeking all over the place, please. Oh, shit. Fuck's... What? Sh... Pr Princess Emilia's here! Sh 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 okay. It's too sudden! What? It's scary! Gods, please help us through this! Wait, what? Is she a bitch or something? She's in all up in red, though. How a little lady in red? Listen to that music, though. I heard somebody say, shoot. Who said that? Uh-oh. Uh-um. Um. Um. Uh -um, um. Hey, I'm the princess in this country. You have to be nice to me. Oh, God. It's, I didn't know there was going to be bitch princesses up in here. Wait. Who the fuck's the fat one? Oh, she's pregnant. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could have told you that. Anyway, hey, excuse me, Your Highness. I would like you to say, to name my soon-to-be-born baby. I don't think so. It's a hell on wheels. Oh no! Disgusting. Stop crying. Since my husband was killed by bandits, th this baby's been my only hope. Bandits? Phooey! You bore me. 
Wow, what a bitch. Oh no. That dude with the fucking lance though, he's he looks like a fucking giant. Got that lance, and he looks crazy. I wanna I don't wanna, I think I wanna meet that guy. Is is that person Princess Emil? I heard that she was very sweet. Oh no. If this is a dream, please wake me up. Yep, not so sweet, at least according to that exchange. Good lord, that bitch be crazy. Crazy bitchy. Don't need to deal with that shit. Nope, we out, dude. Let's pick another country to fuck around with. <sighs> There's an astronomer named Fester living in the city. Ask him about the stars. Okay, is he from the Adams family? Mr. Fester is the best astronomy in the city, although he is an academic. He is down to earth, too. Is he one of the guys that was in the planet Arium? He might have been. Also, this is an item shop. Okay. Did he say buy something, will ya? What is this, Legend of Zelda? Not Legend of Dragoon, bro. Okay. Um, no thanks. He does have Healing Breeze, though. Mmm. I do like those. I will buy me a couple, three of those. Healing Breeze is nice because he heals all. I like that. I like that a lot. No! Buy something, will ya? Please. This is not on sale because it's for free, baby! Oh yeah. Always check all them X button mashes. Oh yeah. I like how we kept saying there's star-related products everywhere. And then we actually found some stardust! Stardust. Oh, how have I not- How have I- How have I not thought of that? Stardust. Fucking Cody Rhodes, bro! Wrestling fans would know. Should we- Okay, let's talk to everybody here before we try to go up that ladder. Maybe I gotta go up that ladder. Oh, Princess Emil, what you left behind is just trouble and scraps. What? It has been six months since Princess Emil turned into a rowdy person. What, she was cool before? How could the gentle Princess Emil turn into such a rowdy person? Why is it rowdy? Dude, say bitch. Just say bitch, please. For the love of God. Don't be nice. She's bitch. Alright, you. Nobody's allowed to go into the castle. Except those with permission. Okay. Well then, what a douche. He's huge, by the way. That armor, though. I don't know if it's that armor or his body, but he is a fucking... Maybe he is a giganto. Shit, motherfucker is giant as fuck. I can see the Aquaria Coral Reef. Well, that's all I can see. Okay. Alright then. Um, what the fuck do I do then? If I can't, um, if I'm, am I not invited? Nobody, um, how do I, um, how do I get permission? Am I supposed to go find somebody to help me get permission? Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Nobody's allowed to go in without permission. Is, do we gotta go find somebody who does have permission and follow them in, like, sneaky and shit? Maybe now I can go to the bar. Let's just fucking drink my sorrows away. I mean, they basically told me to go to the bar later. Maybe I gotta go here now. Oh, shit. Did I really just call that? Oh, my God. I might have just fucking called that. Welcome. Come on in. All the way to the back. What? Check out that music, though. Oh, such slow pokes. I said I'll take you to the back. Oh, snap. We surround that table. Okay. Somehow I fucking just nailed that out of nowhere. You guys are from out of town, aren't you? Uh, no, we're from here, duh. No, we're here. Yeah. Yep, we are. I knew it. I could immediately tell you are not from here. No shit. Just you just said that. You guys, mm mm, smell like exotic foreigners. Let me give you a quick introduction to this town. You saw lots of star shapes in this town, didn't you? There were decorations on top of roofs or mosaics on the street, right? It's because Tiburoans have faith in the stars. Naturally, we have an advanced astronomy. It's the study of stars, isn't it? it? Sounds wonderful. Right? We are here to pursue Lloyd. Dumbasses. What do you say? What are you two guys whispering about? Are you becoming more interested in stars? Oh my god, yeah, totally. Yes, we are. Really? To tell you the truth, I love to talk about stars to people from out of town while working at this here bar. Well, the stars are beyond the sky. They are way over the clouds. They are bright, although they are far away. Because each of the stars has a lighthouse on it. Because they have a lighthouse, they never get lost in the sky. And, and, and... <sighs> hey, Kathy, don't give the customers a hard time. Okay. Sorry, I gotta get back to work. But why don't you come back later? I have lots of things to tell you. Besides, actually, we're not that busy. Yeah, okay. You have anything that you can tell me about fucking getting in the damn castle? You want to talk to me some more? It's okay now, because my boss is not looking at us. Come on, all the way in the back. I I know, actually, you want to ask me something other than about... Yes, I do. 
Yep, we are looking for a man named Lloyd. Hmm, Lloyd. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. If Miss Caffey, the hipster, doesn't know, it means he probably isn't in this town. Are you still interested in hearing about stars? No, I'm good. I don't think so. I knew from the start that you actually didn't want to listen to me. I know you actually don't like to talk. God, don't get into with the customers. Okay. Sorry. I gotta go back to work. No. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm supposed to keep talking to her or not, but she didn't seem to know shit about Lloyd, so... Maybe never mind? I don't know. Is there somebody else we need to talk to? Maybe we need to go find this Fester guy? Was he in the planet Arium? Because... I don't fucking know. Do you know? Look for the bar. More people information. Okay. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna talk to her more about stars. And I just wanna make sure I've exhausted all of her dialogue. Because maybe she has some more shit to say. But she doesn't do it until you let her blab her way through some more star talk. Let me just... Let me just... Let's just... Let's just do that. Do we have to start from this beginning again though? God, I hope not. Alright, where, where, where were we? You guys are from out of town. Yes. I knew it. I knew it. You guys... Mm -mm, you smell like foreigners. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 I shouldn't have left, dude. I shouldn't have left. I fucked up. I fucked up real good. Okay, we're here to pursue Lloyd. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to tell her that we don't give a shit about stars. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry, but we're actually looking for a man named Lloyd. Man? Are you more interested in a man and st than stars? Just kidding! Hmm, Lloyd. Okay. I don't know, Miss Cassie doesn't care. Kill fuck you. She doesn't know shit. Same shit. Um, yeah, sure. Let's see what she says. Um, sorry, I only know things that everybody else knows. What? You know what? I'll introduce you to a person you would like. Okay, here we go. I should have done this. He's an astronomer named Fester. He's crazy about the moon that never sets. I think he could tell you lots of interesting things. The moon that never sets? You know, the one over there. The strange star in the sky all the time, day or night. I heard he's the one doing research about the relationship between a monster and called the black whatchamacallit. And the moon that never sets. Oh, god damn it. Fucking triggered dart hella hard right now. Why don't you drop by? He's next door. Hey, stop goofing around. It's already dark outside. Okay. Sorry, I gotta go back to work. Okay. Dude next door named Fester. Alright, see, I'm glad I made sure I had exhausted her dialogue, because I almost gave up on that. Also, there's people here now. Let's talk to them. Heard King Albert of Sertio went on a journey. Nuh-uh. King Albert's a serious person. Maybe he went on a journey to investigate the state of the world. Or maybe he's standing right in front of you to say, what's up? What's up, dude? I heard King Albert Sertio went... Okay, yeah we, already, yeah, we did that already. What about you? Platinum hair? I think I saw someone like that in some city. In some city, dude. And he wonders if the person was stressed out, that's why. Also, are you drunk as fuck or what? This is Mill. <laughs> I used to admire you, but I feel a deep shock as a member of your fan club. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa. Sorry about that. That cough came out of nowhere. <coughs> I think when I like sucked in air, it like destroyed me. Ugh. Anyway, let's find this fucking fester. Is he here? There's a lot of people here. Was there this many people here before? We have no room available for today. Can you come back some other time? No, I cannot. I cannot. Have you seen Princess Emil? Yeah, she's a bitch. I was gonna go to Danao, but there are gangs there. Danao has gangs. Zizza zizza. Uh, Danao has a port, but you cannot get put a boat to the sea now. There, stays interested with the sea dragon. Oh, there's a sea dragon too. Princess Lisa is the younger sister. She is affectionate and good to her sister. Okay. Cool. 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 Next door, you say? Is it this door? It's night. It's normal for it to be closed. Oh, okay, it must be. The, I think that's the shop. So when she says next door, does she mean over here? This must be it. This must be the house next door. No shit, it's next door to the house we were in. I wonder if Mr. Fester's in. Let's find out. Hello! Mr. Fester, I am here to say hi. Maybe not? The lights are on, though. Let me see. 
Mr. Faster, are you home? Yes, yes I am. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was admiring the moon. Come on in, please. Let's talk inside. Oh boy, boy, oh boy. All right. All right. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We are here to ask you about the moon that never sets. Oh, about the moon that never sets. Wait here for a minute. Let me get some materials. I'll build you a diorama. You are interested in a weird matter. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, you are. Of course, I cannot make judgments about other people. Please, take a look at this. Take a look at this. What you got for us, bruh? Story time? Story time. In astronomy, a moon that never sets cannot exist. Cannot exist? That's right. Stars travel the sky by catching the winds of time. But this moon isn't affected by time. It never moves day or night. That's why it's called the moon that never sets. After counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss. A poem of yore telling the fate given by the moon. However, what we really get is the spawning of destruction and fear, that is, the black monster. Black monster. What does it mean? The mystery has yet to be resolved. Okay. Well then, I'm glad we got some story time out of it. How super very interesting. Sort of. Kind of. A little bit. Maybe. Alright. I never imagined we would be able to get some information on the black monster here. Did you find this useful? Yes, you think so too, right, Dart? Of course. Very good. It is a pleasure to help be helpful to be such a beautiful lady. Mm. You said who is beautiful? I'll just see. Oh, you know what? I'll let it pass. I'll let it slide. Ignore. Oh, it's getting late. I have to hurry up, or I'll be making the princess wait. Ah, oh, see, he's gonna meet the princess. <laughs> All right. It's hard to eat only by astron. Wait, what? It's hard to eat only by astronomy. What? I, I'm, I'm assuming he means it's hard to make money to eat. You know, like keep food on the table only by astronomy. But anyway, I'm acting as the governor of Princess Lisa as well. Okay. Weird. Oh, if you want to take a good look at the moon te that never sets, go upstairs and take a look through the telescope. Set in the different direction of the moon that never sets. Now I'm heading to the castle. Can we go with you, bro? We need to go there for many reasons, but mostly just because I gotta ogle at the princess for a while until she tells me to leave because I'm being creepy. Alright, let's take a look through the telescope to see what we see. We see the moon that never sets. This is the moon that never sets. It looks like a big blue orb in the sky to me. Maybe one day it'll set and we'll all be wrong. Although based on the story you just told me, it, Unlikely. Many things are just placed carelessly. Does that include some random ass stardust up in this bitch or what? Let's let's keep mashing X, dude. You never know, bro. You never know. Oh, come on, I feel like there has to be some randomly in here. Just gotta pick the right spot. I don't think it's gonna happen for me though. I don't think it's happening for me, guys. Damn it. Hoping for that random ass stardust though. Still haven't even confirmed what the hell that shit is for. I still don't want you guys to tell me though. I want to find out for myself. Anyway, let's follow douchebag to the. Wait, who are you? What the fuck are you? 
I'm not suspicious looking at all. I'm a regular citizen who just came out to feel the night breeze. Mm, yes, indeed. Mm, yeah, okay, dude. Can we get up in here, bro? Nobody's allowed to go through the castle unless they have a permission. But I need to go there, man. I need to go there, man. What was up here again? I forgot what was up here. Oh, wait. There's a guy up here. Was this guy here before? Especially beautiful tonight. Okay. Well, okay then. We looked at the moon. We did the thing. What do we do now? What do we do now? I don't know. What in, uh, okay. I guess we gotta figure out where to go now. Alright. There's probably something else we have to interact with in the city. We checked out the moon that never sets in the sky. There's these two buildings over here. There's the only other building that looks like I can go in two other buildings over here. Let's see if there are three other buildings. Let's see if any of them are useful. Um, this one doesn't look particularly so. No, I'm not even going to bother with this one. Might just have to go back to the bar, maybe? Huh. Not sure. Okay, actually that door is the one that comes out of the roof, so we don't need to go through that. What about this one? This one leads me to... Oh, wait! This could be it! Nello, welcome. I am Nello, the representative of the Green Project. Turning the brown barrens to green, the deserts to forest. Don't be so shy. You wish to bring green back to the earth, don't you? Uh, of course. Yes, we do. I thought so, but it's already late. It'll take the whole night to explain my plan. A whole night?! <sighs> But actually, it's okay with us, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. We were in trouble because there was nowhere to stay for the night. We are not allowed to leave town either. I see. I have plenty of time to tell you about the Green Project tonight, then. Oh, I see. I would have had to figure out how to make the the game progress because hotel's full, that other house didn't have shit, and what's his dude face went home or went to the castle. So I really didn't have anywhere else to go. That's funny. Process of elimination. Anyway, let's do it. The revegetation of the desert is a very interesting issue. Right, in principle, the relationship between humans and the Earth should be. Yeah, okay, you can do the talking, Albert. I'm gonna take a nap for like eight hours, so see you later. Watching the buds? Maybe. They are some kind of flower buds. I've never seen anything like this. I wonder how they bloom. You are excited about it, aren't you? Aw, oh, yeah. Well, how awkward these conversations are, man. Talking about buds, you've always liked to see flowers blooming. You remember that? Humans should grow up surrounded by greenery. Exactly. Green not only gives peace of mind, but brings us marvelous things, including this sense of fashion. Do you see my outfit? Mm? Fruits, vegetables, delicious air, all are brought by greenery. I guess they really will talk until morning. The king has such curiosity. Mm-hmm. I hope we can fill Celis with green someday. Yes. The issue here is how to promote the greening. That's the key issue. The research requires a lot of money. A lot of that green. You need green to get the green. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, bro. Gotta get the green to get in between. I understand completely. Get the green to get in between. It's my motto. Anyway, what's up, Nello? Have you been to Danau? It is also known as the Flower City. It is a wonderful town filled with green. Whoops. My dream is to fill all of Tiburo with green, just like Danau. No matter what other people say, I will do it! It will be done! I will accomplish my goal! Okay, apparently this was required to go this way. That's why he was blocking that direction. Because now more cutscene! Are we done here already? Or are we going to get to go to the castle, damn it? There are no signs of Laloid after all. I cannot imagine that Emperor Dole told us a lie. In his last moment, my uncle was himself again. I think we can trust the information that Laloid headed for Tiberoa, so we should assume that we cross paths with Lord. So where in the world is Carmen San Diego? In any case, the king is getting along with a motley crew like us. I was concerned at first. <laughs> I even imagined we were going to be pushed around by the king's ego. Please, stop teasing me, both of you. 
What I would like you to do is just treat me as an equal, as a friend traveling together. As you did Lavitz before he died. Dart is not good at speaking with courtesy. He gets cramps in his tongue when he tries for a long time. Bitch, how do you know about my tongue? You don't know nothing about my tongue. I ain't even use it on you yet. Anyway, I appreciate your solicitude, your majesty. Solicitude? Is that the right word? <laughs> I, I don't even care. Let's stop using that, your majesty. We will be in trouble if anybody hears that. Anyway, the priority is to pursue Lloyd. This is not the only town in Tiparola. If my memory is correct, there should be a town called Danau along the North Seashore. Also, we just heard it ten seconds ago from our friend Nello. Let's go there now! Okay, let's leave as soon as possible. God, this is the worst dialogue ever to read out loud, I swear. Like, I, I give it a pass when you're just playing this on your own, you're not speaking out loud when you're trying to read the dialogue. But trying to read this shit out loud is painful. Like, you realize how bad the conversation flows when you read it out loud. Like, I get the point. The story is told fine. Like, it's not like anything's confusing. It's just really just poorly translated. I also don't know which way he said to go. Did he say north? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> he, I know. I just complain. I just said how they just told us about Denal a hundred times, and then I just said I wasn't paying attention. Also, someone highly suggested that I just give up on on Albert. Well, not give up on him so much, but just don't don't rely on him so much because he's slow and he just, he just gets his ass kicked by everything. Like he's strong. That's really his only strong suit is that he's strong. And the only reason I'm using him so much is just because of fucking of additions, but now, now I'm even fucking those up, so it's like, I'm starting to run out of reasons to even use him. My addition, my addition po skills are not on point with him anymore now that I have a hard one. And that's fine, we can work on Hashel. In fact, let's do that, screw that dude. Let's put Hashel in right now. Let's do it. I just wanna use my new friend Hashel some more, especially now that he has the Dragoon ability, which I didn't even point out. After beating the Emperor, Hashel is now also a motherfucking dragoon! Hell yeah. I'm all excited about that too. I'm all a titter about it. I'm all a titter. You don't even know how a titter I am. I'm a titter as fuck. Okay, six more to get that done. More and more just got started, and we're still on double punch. It's pretty close. Twelve more and we'll be done. Alright, that sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Alright, so this is probably not the way. Nah, definitely not the way. That takes us back to Sergio, it looks like. So we're not going to go that way. I'm glad I checked though, because now I know that's there. Sorry, and random battles are good. We haven't fought any in this episode. We're probably going to fight very few unless we have to go through an area to get to Denau, which, based on what I see ahead of us, that's probably the case. Double punch! Double punch. Oh, that's right. I forgot we fought those guys with the columns before. Easy peasy, bruh. Easy peasy. Whooping that ass, whooping that ass. Alright. Well, I figure we could probably get at least up into this next place. God damn. Fucking, really? What the, what, the, what the fucking, come on, man. Encounter rate, what's up with you right now? You're being a little bit of a dick. You're being a little bit of a dick, encounter rate. What the hell is this hoppy looking bastard? It's like a reskin of one of those other guys we fought. A frilled lizard, it's called. Also, I pressed that way too soon. My bad. Way too soon. There we go. That's alright though. As, as much as we fuck up darts, it won't matter because Dart is our main character. And he's he's just gonna always have his additions progressively getting leveled up. So if I fuck his up, I'm least concerned. It's the other characters I gotta make sure I'm focused, make sure I accomplish, and that's why another reason is to stop with Lavitz right now, because I have not been focused. To the Barons with us. To the Barons. This place sounds barren. I'll be here all week. Okay. Um, okay. Don't know if I wanted to go in here, but apparently I did because it's a treasure. Warrior dress. Immediately gonna see what that is because can I put it on my girl? Not that girl. This girl. Sexy dress? No, no sexy dress for you. You think you could put a warrior dress on the warrior girl? You're crazy. The warrior dress goes on the only real girl we have, no? I lie, dude. What is the warrior dress for then? For this guy? Yo, why are you wearing warrior dress? Just kidding. It's probably like the dressings of a warrior. It's not an actual dress. 
it's just it's just poorly fucking conveyed by the fact that it's a not actually a dress. Wow, we're pretty far away from the camera. Look how small we are. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty karate crazy. Wow, we got a whole one battle on the first screen. Insanity! Another one of those fuckers and a centaur man. Alright, centaur man. Consider your life fucked. Arrow shooter, he's called. Wow. It's a fucking arrow shooter, man. Unbelievably named. Like, probably the most creative and unique name I've ever heard. I'll give you ten guesses what he's good at. I mean, his name is Arrow Shooter, after all. I don't know if you can figure it out. Ten guesses. Ten guesses, I said. All right, Frill Blizzard. Let's get wrecked. Burning rush. And then we get rid of that action with some more and more. More and more. I need you, sir, to get up there and learn that double punch mastery. He seems pretty fast, so that's that's good, because that means he's gonna go first most of the time and we'll get his addition done quickly. Which is good. Which is good, because we're still on the first one with him. Also going the wrong way, that's cool. Going the wrong way, it's the coolest. Going the wrong way is the coolest. I feel like this place is gonna be pretty big. Says the guy after two screens and then it's done. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. What? Oh, huh? Oh, uh, oh, it's bandits. Mappy? Your name is Mappy. <laughs> are you dating those girls in a place like this? Bitch, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Did you hear that? They're asking us who we are. I guess they think we're a bunch of doctors. <laughs> Should be quick. <laughs> Surprise, surprise! We are the one and only Gay Rich! Gay. Gay Rich? We're so bad, we scared ghosts back to hell! Nah. They have no class. Hey! Hey, what did you say? Yo, Mappy, how should I cook these dumbheads? Dumbheads. Well, hmm, I know what. Let's get our reward of money in the bimbos! Oh, you did not just call them bimbos. We have nothing to give you, but if you insist. How about a miserable ending for you? Stop yapping like that! Just leave your valuables! It's that simple! Get out of our way! We don't have time to play with you. This is your last chance. Get out of our way, or you'll need a real doctor. Wah! Ah! I'm totally pissed! Smash their heads, will ya? Brother? Brother? Ooh, brother! Maybe I should've gave him a fucking Hulk Hogan voice. Ooh, brother! Could you smash their head ins, brother? Head ins, heads in. Whatever, dude. Too late. Time to wreck their shit. Alright, here we go. Fuck them up, children. Um, should we go SP on them? You know what? Nah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the kind of stuff we save it for. Let's take a look at what hashels look like. This is our first time using it. It's funny that I'm going to be Hashel turning into a dragoon before I ever even have turned Shauna into a dragoon. Yeah! I just realized how Mario his face is. I should have totally just started going with the Mario voice with him. The problem is I already made that one guy, the shopkeeper guy, Mario, so I can't make this guy Mario also. Thunder on a single? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to thunder the shit out of this right crafty feet. You think he's fucking crafty? Well, you know what? I think she's more crafty. You don't believe me? Listen to that Beastie Boys song. She's crafty! I don't know any more words. She's crafty! Sing more of the song. She's crafty! If I knew more words, she's crafty! I would sing along. That's all I got. That's all I got, dude. That's all I got. Anyway, he only had one, one D level, so there goes that immediately. I just realized that was a waste because he only has one D level. It's okay, though. I made everybody else go Dragoon mode, so whatever. We got to see all cool stuff all in one go. I don't even care. This is not going to be a hard battle. I'm just going to explode the fuck out of it. You guys like the sound of that? I do. Explode a bitch. Add a baby, slow a bitch. Explosion! Explosion! Dude, you only got one chance, and I can make an explosion. This is the fight song. 
take back my life song. Prove I'm all right song. My powers turned up over 9,000. That's how I'm gonna destroy you and that's not how the words go. No one gives a fuck. Well, super off key, but if you don't know the song, too bad. You don't get to know what song it is. You just know that my power is over 9,000, and we're gonna send these motherfuckers to the death dimension. The death dimension. The death dimension. The death dimension. Death dimension. Did I forget to mention death? And you're fucked. I mean, we already killed the one on the left, so the one on the right is probably almost dead already, too. Ow! How dare you chop me with your little bitch knife? This fucker over here with his Wolverine hand. Thinks, he thinks he's just so cute. I'll show you just how cute you are, cute guy. I'll double punch you in the face! Um. I'm gonna just flame shot the shit out of this guy, and he's probably gonna be dead. Flame shot! <laughs> flame shot! I think he means lame shot, but you know, maybe he just misspoke because he's busy going, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. He's doing that Super Saiyan power up. I like it. I like it. He does the Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Alright. Rose. Finish her. Actually, he's probably not going to die. If he's the Baus Baus, he will not die on this attack. But at the very least, we'll get an attack in. We'll get some heals. And then we'll just kick his ass with some additions. With some additional additions. He gets to have a soul in his area above his head because it didn't actually go into his body. Whatever. Hitbox for the win. Do 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 do. I wouldn't be surprised if you just drained zero because you didn't even hit him with a sword. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, douche cake. Douche cake. What you got for me, Wolverine man hand? Anything? Anything? Oh no, not 59. I'm so overwhelmed by your fucking power and skill and fuck Double you. Punch. How about that? Double punch! Damn, Rose got another turn before Dart. Bitch is crazy fast. She's probably gonna finish her next edition and I'm gonna have to swap her out again just because, unless I wanna stop swapping based on editions. Anyway, sugar dick a dish, sugar dick a dish, sugar dick a dick a dick a dick a dick Double punch. Are you dead yet, dude? Wonder if I could use items on this guy. You know, like the one use items. Like that six stone or whatever that I used that one time on that boss fight. Apparently, that was a waste of time because it doesn't work on bosses. It only works on random enemies. But I think this guy counts as a boss enemy just because of music. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It doesn't really matter. I'd rather work on additions, anyways. We are victorious. Suck on that, Mappy. Go back to your... Is it an NES game? I think it's an NES game. <laughs> Hold! Oh, wow! <laughs> it's my fault! I won't do it again! Please forgive me! Just kidding! Oh, shoot! Wait, what? Wait, what? What's this? Uh oh. Oh shit. Are you kidding me right now? He just fucking took my dragon stone. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Didn't even know that was an option. What? Well, it's a good thing I used Dart's Dragoon ability because we won't be seeing that for a minute, I guess. He just fucking took my stone, bro. Not cool, bruh. Not cool. Bruh. I'm a sad panda right now. Took my dragon stone, man. <sighs> what a dick. What a dick, dick, dick. He's gone. 
It's my fault for not being careful enough. A dragoon spirit being stolen is the last thing I wanted to have happen. Anyway, let's move on to Danau. We might find out something about the Garish gang when we get there. We did hear about how it's full of fucking bandits, so... Good lord. Well then... Wait, is it really only going to be a two-screen place? I was joking. It really is a two-screen place. Well, then. What's over here? I'm going to go with this probably isn't the way to do now. I don't... I feel like this is not the right way. I feel like this is a different place I'm going right now. We'll find out. First, we're going to murder one of these guys. Anyway, we'll just have to live with the fact that Dark can't go Dragoon mode now. Well, then. That's fine. It's whatever, dude. I really don't care that much. I find additions to be more effective most of the time. While the magic is nice, the additions are the most effective way to fight random battles especially. So even if we have to fight a boss or two without our Dragoon powers, it's fine. It's scripted. It's doable because it's happening. So it's like, oh well, we'll live with it. Using your Dragoon abilities isn't really required to level anything up, so it's not really wasting my time other than saying, hey, now you have to do additions all the time. It's like, oh darn. Oh darn. I have to do my... The more damage more? Oh darn. I can't believe it. Anyway, what's over here? It'll, a battle we'll have to wait a battle to find out because fuck me for running into one more battle as we we're about to get there. This is not the town, by the way. I can just tell you that now. Hey, look at another one of these fuck faces. One thing I wanted to do before we fought another battle was check my menu to make sure I'm not God damn it. That I'm not uh, done with one of my additions already, because I think Dart and or Hashel might almost be done. Almost. Yes. Actually, I don't think Hashel's even Hashel close to done. He was only... No, wait, he was closer than Dart, right? Sorry, I'm thinking of it backwards. I'm thinking that when they're at level 4, you aren't maxed until they're at level 5 and do more. But no, when they hit level 5, they're done. Like, it's maxed right there. So, let's check their shit now, because... Because I'm pretty sure Hashel would be close. And Dart is probably not too far behind. Anyway, what is this? This is the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. That sounds kind of cool, but we're not going there right now. Ah, <sighs> additions. Okay, so Burning Rush needs two more. Almost done. And that means double punches. Four more. Oh, okay. Never mind on them being even. Sorry. Still not. We're, we're still pretty close. Four more double punches. Two more Burning Rushes. We go. Probably going to fight two more battles on the way back anyways just to get back to the fucking Barons, and then we got to go back through it just to go to the other side. Anyway, this episode probably doesn't end until we at least get to Danau. We should be good, though. You know, this is assuming no bullshit happens with these random battles. These guys do a lot of damage, by the way. 74 is no joke. I mean, I have the HP to withstand such damage now, but it's like, still, 74 sounds like a lot, even at this point in the game. There's one. Hashel needs three more now. I'm keeping track. Oh, I'm keeping track. Three more Hashel, two more Dart. Let's see if we can run into another battle. I mean, we could totally just sit here and grind until they're done. But that's not how I do things, man. The game's going to have me fight enough battles along the way for us to not have to do that. At least I would hope so. If I knew exactly what I was doing this whole time, like without, you know, with a guide or something, and I knew my way around the game, I'm sure that I would be able to get through the game without, like, sitting here to grind. Like, I would I would need to grind, basically, if I wanted to do leveling. Oh, shit, this, this place is not even done yet, dude. There's more shit going on here. I was talking shit, and this place still has more things. Hell yeah. Recovery ball. All right, cool. Take one of those. I'll just take my ball and leave. Um, any reason to go up here? Let's find out. Uh, probably, oh yeah, this will probably take us to that other treasure I saw back there. Maybe? Or it'll be a dead end, because we all love dead ends. Dead ends, dead ends, dead ends, dead ends, dead ends, they are the best! Yes, they are the best. I said dead ends, dead ends, dead ends, dead ends, dead ends, they are the best! Then all the race. The encounter rate here is kind of low. Like, my, my arrow didn't fill up to red for a long time there. Like, I wouldn't have minded running into at least one battle before that. But now we just barely run into one and we're already done with this big ass screen. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. I murder all the centaurs and do what I want. 
I fucking fuck the arrow man up because I won't. Alright, so this is the this is only the next battle, like second battle I fought since I started counting. So one more burning rush and we're done with that. And then this will leave us with two double punches if I don't fuck it up. Two more double punches, one more burning rush. Got it. Got it. Got it. Nailed it. Fucking nailed it. Nailed it to the fucking cross. I need to watch more ABGN. I've already watched all of them like multiple times, but anytime I think about it, I'm like, man, I want to watch those again. <laughs> Just saying the words, I want to nail them to the fucking cross. Even something that simple reminds me of ABGN. Anyway, Flower City, here we come. I don't even like flowers. You know what? I gotta say, I like how flowers look, but goddamn, they destroy me. And by that, I mean their smell. The smell of flowers absolutely destroys me. And I'm just saying. I'm not like if I went to this city right here, I would die. I would literally die. I would just walk in and pass out immediately. And if I came resuscitated, it would be out of this town. You know, like it's that bad. Anyway, welcome to the Danau Flower City. Welcome to Danau. Thank you. Thank God. What? Thank God what? You don't look like bandits. Your clothes are so filthy that at first I thought you might be. Bitch, you're filthy. We really are covered in dust. It's natural the girl would be mistaken. Don't take it the wrong way. Don't stare at me like that. You're just as dirty as I am. It's not that bad. We don't have time for fooling around like that. Are you jealous? She's like, bitch, please. I am just concerned about the dragoon spirit. Duh. Duh. Acha. The fuck else do you think she's upset about? What? No! What are you going to do? We are deciding now. What? Hee hee hee. As I expected, you are one of the sacred sisters of Mil Sasso, aren't you? You have such a pretty face, don't you? Great! Selling her will make us rich. Don't make a noise and we won't harm you. Some somebody help! Oh shit. Look who it is. Oh, gentlemen, over there, please. What? Just go away or you'll be sorry. Oh, yeah? I'll show you who's going to be sorry. Are you going to get in our way? Please continue. What? If you don't mind dying. And curse Lysa. One chop and they're all dead, dude. You're the one to die. Ah! Uh. Wow. What what did you do? Shall I continue? Ah Yeah, a bunch of bitches, bro. A bunch of bitches. Please wait! I don't know who you are, but thank you very much for helping me. It's nothing. Oh please, let me at least have your name. It's Lloyd. My my name is Wink. I am a sacred sister of Mills So. Wink. Third sacred sister. Okay. Wink. Oh, Laloid. Okay, so sacred sisters know about Laloid. We need to figure out where they are and who they are. And then have the girl sniff Laloid out. Because I don't even know where that is. Maybe that's here. Also, there's a bandit just chilling right here, dude. This city belongs to us. If you want to survive in this city, don't mess with us. <laughs> okay, douche dealing with your douchery right now. Oh, why did you go, Lynn? We're having a wedding soon. It's impossible to have a talk with the ga ga the garages. The garages. The garages. Huh? Who are you? Don't worry. We are not bandits. Really? You're just gonna say that and make me believe it? There's something wrong, isn't there? We might be able to be of some help. Tell us. Okay. I'll just tell you all my problems. It all started this morning. Uh oh. Bandits fucked up. They fucked up. They fucked up, bro. When I finished my errands and came home, Lynn was gone. The end. Oh, he left a letter, of course. In his letter, it says he's going to persuade the gang to pull themselves out of Danau. I'm supposed to wait for him at home. Uh, that's a dumb idea. Just saying. Dumb. He left a letter? I have an idea. If I show this letter to the mayor, he might do something to help. The mayor is Lynn's father. I 
I see. Let's bring this to the mayor. You have to wait for Lin here. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Alright, fine. But first I'm gonna pillage your house for Stardust. You know you have some, and don't even try to act like you don't, bitch. That is the son of the mayor, so if you show that letter to the mayor, he might be able to do something for us. Okay. Well, hopefully the mayor is a cool guy, because I can't deal with more douches right now. I got enough douches on my plate, and as soon as I get some douches off the plate, and then I can have a turd sandwich. And then when I'm done with my turd sandwich, I'll go back to having more douches on the plate, okay? Okay. Just, just trying to clarify how many douches I can have in my life at one time. Anyway, let's talk to this little girl again. Yo, little girl, what up? Since the bandits came, all the flowers are not doing well. Oh, no. A half a year ago, it was a joyful, agreeable, and happy city, but... I wish there were no gangs. I hope somebody helps us. Don't say that in front of the gangs. They might gang up on you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hello, church. Gangs on the land, sea dragons in the sea. This city is doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Doomed. Lord, please help us. I don't know why, but gangs come here a lot. They don't have any faith. Oh, I want to have a quiet life. No faith, just life. It has been one month since we reported the damage by the bandits. Nothing happened and nobody came either. Okay. This horrible life will continue until the knighthood of Tipperoa comes. And But you know what? Bitch face over in, in uh, the one town ain't, ain't sending anybody. Endure the hardship, overcome the sorrow, and wait for the day when flowers bloom in our hearts again. Everything is a test given by the gods. Take care of each other and get through this. And if you can't get through this, maybe the song Gotta Get Through This will motivate you to get through this. The end. Zzz, Pichu, Pichu. Machu, Pichu, Pichu. Yo, this ain't Pokemon. Get your Pichus out of here, son! Pichu existed by this point, right? Gold and Silver were out? They had to have been by 2001 or 2000 or whatever this is. Alright, yellow's gonna be an in, isn't it? With a save point? In with a save point? Sick, sick, nasty. My brother's wimpy. I'm acting as his bodyguard. Okay. I don't see your brother anywhere, so you're not acting as anybody's bodyguard if there's nobody there, bro. Unless you're talking about the guy who runs the inn, in which case, my bad. Um, I'm gonna check what's over here first. I feel like the right side looks more important, so the left might not be as important. Um, or I am wrong completely, but we'll see. Hello, lady! How are you? This is the way to the mayor's house. I won't let any suspicious people pass through here. Okay, well you let me pass through and I'm as suspicious as it gets, bitch. I would like to go over there, but there's a scary person there. Okay, I would like to go over there as well. If you would get the fuck out of my way, then I could go. I don't know why, but that old bag is wandering over around over there. Well, that's because she doesn't want to fucking talk to your ugly bitch ass. You ever think about that? Also, did not know where I was on the screen. My bad. My bad. I really should make sure I see myself before I press anything. Alright, yo, what's up? Just the rumor about a phantom ship is scary enough, but now we have a sea dragon making a mess? I cannot put my ship out to sea. <laughs> oh shit, shit, shit. Phantom ship is a mere rumor, but that doesn't make it less scary. I can't help it. Oh no, I'm so scared. Anyway, what's up, girl? How you doing? Girl, how you doing? Although they say bars and bums are inseparable, I wish it were only true in books. It's awful. Although it's good money, I want to quit. Fuck this place. I'm quitting tomorrow. And then tomorrow she's back. They've been here for days. Hmm, what should I do? It's too scary to tell them to get out. Hmm, what should I do? Fucking stop being a bitch. What is Brother Gayridge thinking? About what? He should just take over the city. Oh, you know what? Fuck that. Brother Gayridge is too soft. He even tried to calm a crying brat. Brother Garage is way too soft. Huh. Maybe Garage isn't as, as, isn't all bad like these guys are. I mean, they're Garage's gang, but maybe they're not doing the wishes of Garage. Mm. Maybe Garage is just a figurehead and the thieves are all a bunch of douche cakes. Or maybe I'm just way overthinking it. Anyway, there's a lot more of this place than I expected. What's up, dude? I love the sea, don't you think so, huh? Mm? What is cool about the sea is, of course, pirates! Pirates! Pirates are romantic for men, don't you think? What is with this dialogue? It's so weird. We cannot put a ship out to sea since the huge dragon, sea dragon appeared. We've had to put the ship on land. Well, that sucks. I don't want to sail on a sea where a dragon, sea dragon is. I don't want to become... I don't want to do something regrettable. 
I also, too, would not like to do anything regrettable, sir. I don't know if I would ever say that, like, in those words exactly, but you get it. It's not only a sea dragon that has appeared on Elisa Bay. Yeah, Bay. <clears throat> I heard that a phantom ship also appeared in Elisa Bay. Yeah, I heard about that, too, from a drunk in a bar. Great view, though. Great view, though. All right, that's probably going to be an episode, guys. I know we got we got a mayor to meet and uh, things to do and a dragoon gem to get back, but we're just out of time, my friends. We are just out of fucking time. This is where the mayor's house is, too, so we'll have to get the fuck out of my way. Ah, oh, NPCs. Oh, I love it. I love it when NPCs can get in your way and you can't just, like, bleed right through them when you need to the most. Let me see if there's hella more town over here first or if there's just, like, one house. probably hella more town over here. Um, um, you know, fuck it. Let's just see what's over here. Is this a shop or something? Oh, this is the healing place. I can already tell by the music. I ain't gonna be shitting there. That's useful. There almost never is. That's like the one that will have something useful in it. I know it, dude. Just because I said that. Just because I fucking said that. Wait, what? Oh, god damn it. Tut, that, that's it? Fine, we'll let you, but only today. Oh, this is the shop. Let's go. What you want, sucker? Don't look at me like that. Fuck your shit up, son. What you got, bro? What you got anything good? It's, it's gonna be empty. They took everything. Oh, I thought I was gonna call that fucking mile away. A tiara. Let's buy some tiaras, dude. I'm down. Confirmed. Tiara. Confirmed. Alright. And a silver vest. Ooh, that's actually good for her. Alright, cool. It's not better than my warrior arms or whatever. Warrior. No, wait. That's, that wasn't her. That was something else. Never mind. I don't want to see Ma, Pa and Ma flattering gangs anymore. Neither do I. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Oh, she's got the item shop. Okay. So Ma and Pa are the item and weapon shop. Alright, cool. I'm good on that shit then. Alright, I think we can call that an episode safely before we get to the hour mark, which I would like to not hit, just just out of principle. I like to not hit it if I can help it. Um, yeah, next time on Let's Play Legend of Dragoon, we'll, uh, we'll hit up the we'll hit up the mayor and see what he's doing, because fuck that guy, right? It's a nice day today. It's the best day for laundry. You don't say. See you guys next time. Peace!